Yo, what's good YouTube? Today we're going to have a bit of a optimization performance guide. So we're going to be talking about a thing called full screen optimizations. And there are some guys already out there on how to do this. Like it's been known for a while, but they're really not very good. I think the number one guide on this, like literally just uses notepad and doesn't have any narration. So it's kind of like, like a definitive guide on how to do this because it is like pretty much the number one most important thing you can do to make your game run better and feel smoother. So basically full screen optimizations is a really cool Windows 10 feature on paper that in practice is actually terrible. So what it does is if you have not like tampered with any settings, this applies to any full screen application. Um, basically it's not actually running true full screen. It's like a mixture of full screen and borderless full screen, which is meant to give you like the best features from borderless. So like you can tab out much faster, which is actually really nice, but it's not worth it. Um, you can see like any overlays. So like if you press your media keys and you see like the volume bar, you would see that over your full screen application. If you have like desktop notifications on for any applications, you would see those as well. I recommend you turn those off. I don't know why you would have those on. It's kind of weird, but point stands, you would see them. And uh, with the media keys like on your keyboard to change volume slider, that's gonna be probably the best way to test that you've actually disabled them. Because once you have disabled full screen optimizations, you will not see the volume slider. But yeah, so it, it gives you those little features, like the number one thing being that you can tab out faster, that's actually pretty nice. But um, the cost is that it does lower performance a lot because it's not true full screen you are not getting like the your system is not like putting as much resources into the application as it really should be and it does cause some stuttering like even if you get some people actually get like increase in frames like actually get like 10 to 15 frames from doing it um on my system it's pretty well optimized so with full screen optimizations on, I still get good performance, but I get stutters. Like there's a lot of stuttering, a lot of tearing, um, just really not a good experience and turning it off is gonna be like huge. So with most applications, you can just go ahead and right click, properties, compatibility, change settings for all users. You're gonna wanna turn on disable full screen optimizations. You wanna check that. And you're going to want to run this program as administrator. So this isn't actually necessary for the fix, but you should definitely be doing this because it actually makes sure that your game uses like as much of your CPU as possible. Um, if you don't have it running as administrator, it does not use as much CPU as it should be. So definitely do that. And then change high DPI settings. You want to override and do system enhanced. So with most programs, you can just do this and that's it. It'll work. With Apex, you have to do this step. You have to do all these steps, but we also have to edit our registry, unfortunately. And since I did just have this folder open, um, just a quick reminder, if you need to figure out how to get to your Apex, you go to in your Steam library, right click manage, browse local files. Origin does not have a feature like this, but you know, just figure out where you installed your Origin games. It's not that hard, probably in program files, Origin games. I, th I think literally the default installation is program files, uh, x86, it would be like program files, x86, origin, origin games, and then it would be in there. Um, but yeah, so, so you have to do these steps and there is a really nice program I'm going to show you. So it's called compatibility manager. I'm going to have the link to this in the description. And what this will do is it will just automatically, uh, check those boxes for you for like any program. So you can actually go ahead and rerun this and you can set a folder, go to your Steam library, wherever that might be, probably in program files and you can just set common and then go ahead and check these boxes like I said, so override high DPI scaling system enhance, disable full screen optimizations, run this program as administrator, and then click this one, and hit yes. And then it's gonna, it's gonna pretty much automatically find the actual .exe file. So you're gonna wanna make sure that all of your games are checked. 
and you're gonna wanna make sure that these are set and just make sure that's all good. Save select to registry and there you go. So for most games, that's it. That's all you have to do. I recommend you do this with every single game that you play, like especially like Kovacs or something like that. Um, but yeah, any, any game that you play, you should be doing this because the full screen optimizations are just not good. And for most games, this is all you have to do. So if you are playing other games, you can just stop watching the video here. But since I assume you're here for Apex, because that will be in the title, we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step. So once that is all set, we have those boxes checked. You're going to open up your registry editor. So go to your start menu and type reg edit. It should pretty much like auto find it, but yeah, just type reg edit. And we're going to go to H key current user system game config store children. We're going to click on this folder and we're going to hit control F or you can right click and do find whichever one works. And you're going to type in R5 apex.exe. And you're going to go to flags. And the default value is going to be 11. We're going to set that to 211 and then we're going to save it. So like I said before, most games should just work by doing it through Windows Explorer. You shouldn't have to go into your registry, but if you find that it does not work with games, you can do these same steps and it will work for you. So like for instance, Splitgate, Portal Wars. Make sure flags are set. Now it should be like, like I said, with other games, it should just work through Windows, but you can follow these steps if it doesn't work. And again, you're gonna to wanna to test with the media keys. So yeah, if like if you find that a game is like feeling kind of stuttery, maybe maybe double check. And if you do have all those settings in the uh, Windows Explorer and it still is stuttery, then yeah, go ahead and try these steps. And maybe they'll help. And if you okay, so if you don't have the registry keys, that's a problem. So like what can happen sometimes is that if you search for R5 Apex and nothing comes up, like nothing comes up in this folder and it tries to search the rest of the registry, then that means that like you basically you're kind of fucked and you have to reinstall Windows, um, unfortunately. <laughs> so I actually like recently reinstalled Windows and I was messing around with a couple different versions of Windows. I tried like a custom ISO, uh, Ghost Spectre ISO if, if anyone has tried those um, it's running on those, you are going to have to install a normal Windows ISO just from Microsoft, unfortunately. I actually, like, I, I could not figure out how to get this to work because those keys just did not exist. But for 99% of you, what I just said makes no sense. You probably just don't even understand what I just said. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you don't have R5 Apex key in here, if it doesn't come up, then you just have to reinstall Windows. So that's gonna be it for the registry. And you're just going to want to then run the game afterwards. And you're just going to go ahead and test with the media keys to make sure that it works. Uh, now, unfortunately, I can't really like show it on OBS. It does not actually capture the volume bar. So I can't actually show it to you. But that is how you're going to test it. You're just going to press your media keys on your keyboard to change your volume. And if the volume slider is there, that means that you did not fix it properly. But if the volume bar is not there, that means everything is all good. And your game is going to run a lot smoother. All right, well, that's going to be it for the video. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. Go ahead and press that like button if it did and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to answer them, unfortunately. I don't I don't know all that much beyond these steps. I, I don't really know much beyond these steps, but I will try at least. Consider subscribing for further guides and uh, lots of gameplay videos. Peace.